Ace Money the name, getting paid for the game. My goal is to help you get that money by sharing my picks as well as some useful knowledge and betting techniques. Now, while we go over this recap, I'd like to get right into these picks so we can get in and out like a BE with handicappers. So it's a SBR, Sportsbook Robbery. Mace Money, and this is Sportsbook Robbery. This is for uh, September 17th, WNBA. We got, uh, I think, five games on the slate. Some got big spreads, some little spreads. Uh, I think we got one more day left in the season. Well, I got a few player props. Let's get into them. Brianna Jones, she's been a cash cow these last two weeks. Points over 14 and a half, minus 118. FanDuel. Now, Connecticut's playing Minnesota. Connecticut will be home. But just keep in mind, Minnesota's got a pretty good defense. Uh, overall, they've been ranked second in points allowed. Guard position second, forward second. Center to the fifth. Uh, Brianna Jones has been killing this. The minutes ticked up in the beginning of September, and she's been killing it ever since. Let's see, it went up. She was playing like 24, 25, around there, 28. But now she's up there. She played up to 30. But uh, she's been killing it this whole month. Uh, Unfortunately, one day, she, you know, she's bound to have an off day. Just hopefully it's not today. Head to head, she has gone under this. Uh, this one's last year. They played twice this year. One time she had 19. One time she had seven. When she had seven, she only had played 25 minutes. Shot 40%. Uh, when was that? Seven four. If we go back and look, come on, stop moving. Seven four. It's all the way back here. So she wasn't playing the way she's playing now. So yeah, I'm gonna still rock with it, you know. Cash cam, Brianna Jones. Let's get it. Uh, you can play. You can check out our rebounds too. All these numbers I've dropped, this is why you got to subscribe, because I dropped these plays in the community last night, and some of them bumped, the odds changed. Uh, six and a half rebounds, minus 118, FanDuel. One, two, the last four games, she's had nine and eight. Uh, Minnesota's ninth overall rebounds. Forward position, the ranked seventh. Center, the ranked eighth. Uh, head to head is going to be on the, but she didn't play. She's playing, you know, eight, nine more minutes now than at that time. And she had five or six. So you could go that way too. We'll put them together. But uh, I played her points. Brianna Jones, let's get it. Next up, right back to it. Mabry, points over 13 and a half. Minus 105, 106, Fandle. Now, uh, mind you, last couple of days ago, we, they got 14 and a half at plus 122. These lines would have been up a little higher, but they're favoring the Minnesota defense. But I still think she'll go over it. Uh, if you want to sprinkle on that 14 and a half plus 122, I mean, save his bet, obviously, 13 and a half. But uh, last week, last week, the last time they played, right before they played, the number dropped to 12 and a half. So uh, just be wary. Um, cleared this 8 out of 10. Uh, when she came, she just got traded in the beginning of the month there, the beginning of August after the deadline. And then they were trying to figure out her spot. She started all these days and then came off the bench and... Uh, now she's coming off the bench and she's coming in and killing it. She does get rebounds and assists, so uh, you could look into something like that or maybe fantasy points since she does it all. Head-to-head, uh, -head, she's under. This is just like the other one, except 
they had one game this year. It was all last year. But that's when she was on Chicago. And uh, she got a whole different role here and, you know, better supporting cast and everything else. So I don't see it really being a problem. Good three-point shooter, everything else. Uh, if you've been watching, you know we've been cashing it. Uh, last 10 games, shooting damn near 50% from the field, 42% from three, and about 70 from the foul line. 27, 28 minutes a game, coming off the bench. But uh, like I said about Jones, as you see, she's been hitting it, so it's bound to happen. It's going to miss eventually. With uh, I said it before, I'll say it again. 13 and a half, I'll play it every time. Let's get it, maybe. Mid-range queen, Corny Williams, points over 11 and a half. I played it at 10 and a half. I dropped in the community. This line got bumped. I was expecting it. I was expecting a few. Um, could get it nine and a half, the arm prize picks. Unfortunately, they don't have prize picks in New York. Um, it's the other side of the ball here. They're playing Connecticut. They're going to be away. As you see, eight out of the last ten. Slanging it up. She don't get much more than it, but she goes over it. She uh, gets good assists and stuff, too. Playing plenty of minutes. Last 10 games, 53% from the field. She don't really shoot threes occasionally. But, uh, excuse me. Uh, free throws, what's that say? 87%, damn near 90. So, but the same thing, like I said, with the Connecticut players, uh, Connecticut got good defense as well. So it's going to be a good game. Uh, head to head. Let's see. Let's see where she was at. Bada bang, bada boom. They played twice this year. She went over it twice. Mid range queen. Inside that arc. You know that little uh, mid-range? I don't really got to explain it. It's self-explanatory. She kills it. Don't even touch the rim. Uh, Courtney Williams, let's get it. Uh, Phoenix at Los Angeles, 10-30 uh, game. It's another line that got crazy bumped. Uh, the odds did. Rebounds over three and a half. I played it at one. Uh, uh, where did I play it at? One fifty-two. Last night, uh, I apologize for not being able to get the video out. Well, feel like a dick now, but uh, this goes with the the idea that I've been playing for the second half of the year. Uh, Teams that verse Phoenix, the guards usually get a lot of rebounds. Uh, Carter just hooked it last game. We bet that too. The problem with what happened was uh, Bantam and the other one, they ended up getting the boards. I just picked the wrong guard. They had like eight, nine boards each. It was crazy. But uh, then Carter ended up hooking. But that's sports betting. Uh, last 10 games, she's only cleared this four times. Played Seattle twice, Connecticut twice, Chicago, Indiana, Liberty, Dallas, all decent rebounding teams. But I uh, had the head. She crushed it. Three times they played this year, she had six, six, and seven. Uh, twice in June, the beginning of June, the end of June, and the beginning of July. Phoenix 12th in rebounds allowed, guard position 12th, but she's a forward, it's ranked 9th. Uh, it's crazy juice now, though, unfortunately, 235. That's why you got to jump on this shit. Uh, four and a half plus money. She had six, six, and seven, so it's doable. 
maybe keep your eye on it, see if maybe you get better odds, or if you have an odds booster, you can use that at the three and a half, boost the odds up. It's a little trick I use. If you ever, you know how the, the books give you them, them special little boosts and stuff, you find a play that you're sure is going to hit, and even though it's highly juiced, minus 200, and you add the boost to it, and you get it down to minus 150 or something, and uh, it's an easy cash. But, uh, yeah, so I played three and a half. What you could do, too, is uh, it's possibly a points. Oh, man, the points line went crazy up, too. Is that 14? 14 and a half. Went all the way up to 17. Yeah, uh, points and rebounds. Twenty and a half. I don't know. Hopefully, you played it last night. Uh, maybe you might just want to fade it. It's too juiced. All right, Rakia Jackson. So I gotta subscribe and turn the notifications on. Alright, I'd like to take this time and ask you if you could like the video. Uh, new viewers, if this works out for you and you like what you see, hit that subscribe button. And uh, if you're new or been subscribed, everyone turn on your notifications. So you get all my plays, my live bets. Uh, I drop these plays in the community. A lot of them got bumped and changed. So you just you get my info, uh, any news. And I just try to be as transparent as possible. Uh, if you could leave a comment, likes and comments, I'll get the videos out there. Uh, I do appreciate everyone who does, and uh, let's keep it moving. Uh, this number got bumped. I played it at 10 and a half, minus 130, and it's crazy. We can actually see that. They got a cash out now. I bet $25. They got a cash out now. They're offering me 26 I never really even had that happen. That's how you know you beat the line. But, uh, yeah, so minus 10 and a half, minus 205, uh, 11 and a half, minus 120. I still think it's doable. I played it on DraftKings. Head to head. I played twice this year, but this is when she was on Dallas. She killed it. Um, go these last 10 games. She's been hit or miss, though, lately. Uh, these last two games, she's been doing well again. Uh, this Phoenix allows a lot of points. Ninth overall in points. Seventh in the guard position. Uh, these last two games, she's been playing plenty of fucking minutes. So, hopefully, she'll play that and... Uh, be able to go over this. Uh, hopefully, you got it last night at 10 and a half. But uh, yeah, Odyssey Sims, let's get it. Next up, uh, Derek and Hamby. Just playing her in the beginning of the year for a while and then she fell off. Um, I'm gonna give her one last shot. Fucking season's over anyway, right? <laughs> um, her number used to be up there, 17, 18. Uh, it's been down at like 14, 15. Now it's at 13. I played it on DraftKings. Playing Phoenix, who allows a lot of points, ninth overall. Forward center, seventh, eighth. Uh, she had 25 last game, so... I'm not saying so like anything. I mean, I just feel like the number is a little low, and hopefully uh, we're a team that allows some scoring that uh, she can get over this 13 and a half. Three times they did play this year. She has cleared it, 23, 29, 25. But that's when she was scoring. That's all back here. So, uh... Hopefully she goes over it. Uh, I'll give her a shot. 13 and a half. 
against a team with a weak defense. Uh, let's get it. Derek Hamby points 13 and a half. I think she's going to want to end the season on a high note, too. So, hopefully she carries that 25 points since today. Over 14 and a half. Other end of the uh, Phoenix-Los Angeles game. Uh, Los Angeles allows a lot of points. Also, ranked 10th to the guard position. Ranked 9th. Uh, Cooper's out. Clear Cooper. With a back injury. So, uh... She was out last game, too, and Terese went off. He had 25 points. She's capable of scoring. It's just, you know, some days she does, some days she doesn't. I just think with Cooper being out, she's going to have to bear the load. Head-to-head. Uh, -head. Cleared this every time. Twice this year. That goes back to last year. 31, 20 points. It was all in June. Uh, she's exceeded 14 and a half points in nine of the last 10 games versus the bottom five uh, defense. And, uh, yeah, I like it. Let's get it. All right. Uh, season's coming to an end. We're getting to these playoffs. Uh, I'm going to bring the bets down a lot to playoffs because it's, you know, you get match up. Like, it'd be like playing back to back. So you get the, the changes, uh, adjustments in the game. It's going to be tougher. But we got to find them, them good bets and just stick with them. Uh, look out for the NFL videos. Hit that subscribe button. And Ace Money, the name getting paid for the game. Let's go. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.